here to share with you some good news about heaven. So here's the question for you: If you were to die today, are you sure that you're one hundred percent sure that you will go to heaven? I hear you thinking, what can you do to go to heaven? Be good, go to church, be baptized, pray seven times a day, receive forgiveness from Jesus from the things that you've done wrong. Which one is correct? Which is the right answer? Uh, well, I want to know. It all started when God made everything. He spoke, and the stars and planets were formed. He then made the earth, the animals, and the first two people. Their names are Adam and Eve. He loved them and fed them in a beautiful garden. He only gave them one rule: don't eat the fruit but one special tree. God called breaking his rule sin, and they ever did sin, they would die one day. And sadly, they did eat fruit from that tree. And then one day, both died. But truth is, kids, all of us have sinned. We've sinned on accidents. We've sinned on purpose. No one is perfect. Can you imagine if God told everyone every bad thing you ever did or said or thought? I would be ashamed of you. Do ask the pyramid for sin, for my sins and for your sins. The payment to sin is death. Since we have all sinned against God, we will all already die, just like Adam and Eve did. Maybe we'll be old, or maybe we'll be young. When that day comes and our sins are forgiven by Jesus, we go to heaven to be with God. Heaven's a beautiful city full of light, lots of fun and candy. <laughs> well, I'm not sure about the candy part, but I get back home. Boys and girls, the good news is that in heaven. No one there ever cries. Gets hungry, hurts, and we can live there forever. And then let me tell you about what is sin. Yes, we all have sinned. The Bible says in Romans three twenty three, He says, "For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God." We sin, and maybe it's lying, cheating, stealing. Sin is anything we think, say, or do that breaks God's law. Can you try that with me? Sin is anything we think. Say or do that breaks God's law. Disobeying your parents. The Bible says, "Children obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right." Unlike father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. The Bible, the Bible says in Romans five verse twelve, he says this in the Bible. It says that wherefore is by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for it all was sin. The bad news is, if you are not forgiven, you have to forgive all the old sins without God forever. That place is called hell. It was never made for you. It's a place to punish the devil for his evil deeds. He has caused all the disease, death, war, and pain. It's a place where he's being separated from God. God sent His only Son Jesus into the world to understand us and to save us. He became a baby. He became a man and He healed the sick. He fed the hungry. He told God's word and He told everyone He was God's son and talked about heaven. He said He would build a house there, and that He would one day live forever with Him. Many people loved and worshipped Him. They believed what He said. People, you must believe. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved in your house. But not everyone believed. Many people hated him because he was telling and telling them truth that they were sinners and had disobeyed God's rules. They didn't like that. They got angry and decided to hurt Jesus. They grabbed Jesus and arrested him, even though he hadn't done anything wrong. They hit him, spit on him, whipped him, and forced a crown of thorns on his head. They nailed him to a cross, and he bled. Jesus died on the cross for the payment of our sin, for your sin and for my sin, for everyone's sin. God said the only way that we're forgiven is the person who never done anything wrong and take the punishment that we deserve, and that's what Jesus did for you, for everyone. If you were the only person in the world, he would have died just for you. He loves you. Jesus was buried in the grave, but the three days later. He walked out alive. Everything he said was proved. He won proof. He proved it wasn't just a good man, but he was God. He's now back in heaven, preparing a place to rest there for you. So let's review. 
The Bible says, one, you and I have all sinned. Two, the punishment of sin is being separated from God forever in a place called hell. And three, Jesus took your punishment on the cross. The Bible says, but the gift of God is eternal life of Jesus Christ the Lord. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. God wants everyone to go to heaven. Where he makes it as easy as receiving a gift. Everyone wants to do that. A gift is free. You don't have to buy to earn it. You just receive it. You only need to take it one time. Since Jesus is God's gift, you must open your heart to receive him as your Savior just one time. One last picture and I'll have to go. It's a picture of you. Me, all of us. See, the first time you sin, it's simply just the God. He can't be around us because of sin. He is perfect, holy. Not having God in our life leaves an empty feeling in the hearts. Nobody can do will fill it. So try to build a little bridge by being good, going to church, being baptized, praying seven times a day. In our hearts, we want to know God be forgiven. Anyone wants to do that, but anyone sees that oh heaven for us. Or our bridges are too short. But the good news is Jesus loves you. And when he did on the cross, built the bridge all the way from where you are. From us to heaven. There's only one way to heaven, and it's through him. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father, but by me. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Is anyone born on the right side of the bridge? No. Can anyone put you across the bridge? No. It's your decision. So how do you cross over? You must believe Jesus died for you and then receive forgiveness of sins. Friends, it's all about Jesus. Well, thanks for listening.